Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a little get ready with me, although it's like 2 p.m. Oh my god, it is 2.45 p.m. I'm getting ready to film some videos for my other channel, but I got a request on Instagram to do a get ready and basically a postpartum depression anxiety update, which I felt was very good timing, especially with everything going on right now. So I'm going to kind of tell you guys, um, one, how I curl my short hair. This is what it looks like right now it's kind of it's actually grown out since i did my um no heat during quarantine last year so crazy i can already say last year but duval has sent me another one of their um curling wands if you guys do not know i've worked with their company a while now i do not get paid for this but i like working with them because i like their products and they give you guys an amazing discount so you'll get 70 percent off if you order for them so i'll have all of that down in the description box below and i'm not just saying any of this you guys i have their spin brush that works amazing i have their her straightener that works amazing I have their other smaller one that works amazing so I just love their products I love the technology of their products and this wand is a little bit different because it's a 32 millimeter barrel um, so it's gonna give me more of those beach waves like looser waves versus the really tight ones that you usually see me in so what I'm trying to redo is recreate this picture right here which was literally just um, five days of my hair being curled and not washed and just a ton of dry shampoo which is disgusting so <laughs> I'm gonna recreate it um, in a healthier way with this so I'm so excited to show you guys that and just kind of have a little girl chit chat because I feel like I haven't done that with you guys in forever Um, so if you're wondering, yes, I'm still trying to treat my hair healthier and basically do like the no heat as much as possible. But once a week I will go through. So I just washed my hair yesterday and um, gave it a really good like shampoo, scalp like treatment, everything else and blow dried it straight and then slept on it. So this is just from me basically blowing it out. So you guys can tell it is not perfectly straight whatsoever. It's kind of frizzy right now. Um, so this is supposed to like smooth out my hair and just make it look really nice without me having to straighten it first so first things first is i'm going to be using the tresemme this is the heat protectant it goes up to 450 degrees it's a heat tamer protects against damage and it kind of like conditions my hair i honestly love it um and then once that's done i'm just gonna section off my hair but basically i just section off my hair into like down the middle kind of i just do a side part and then i just use a clip to section this part up and then this will probably do in like three so i start from the back i don't know why i just usually do um it does come with a glove as well but i feel like i never use a glove so i point it down i don't know if we can see that and basically just twist around the barrel as much as possible and then i have thicker hair so i usually just leave it for like 10 seconds you just shake it out <laughs> You don't want to like pull it or anything like that. I just shake it out and then I leave it alone because I want it to cool um, down as much as possible. Making sure not to like burn yourself, which I just tapped my finger. It gets really hot. It heats up in like a minute. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is a thermal technology as well. I have, as I said, naturally curly hair. So my hair holds a curl really well. So I don't have to put anything in my hair as far as styling products go. Oh. Oh, it's looking so good. All right, so this is what it's looking like so far. Can we just talk about like the frizz that I did have to like what it is now? I mean, let me just pull this down for you. My hair was so frizzy and then like, it's like super smooth. And this is without me like going over with a um, straightener, which is how I usually curl my hair um, because it smooths it while I like, curl it but the reason I don't want to use a straightener as often to curl my hair is because the straightener clamps your hair obviously in between two hot plates and um, it's more damaging than if you just used a wand because you're not clamping anything you're just wrapping it so this is just a little bit of a healthier way to curl your hair with a hot tool if you are new I have two children I have a four-year-old daughter and a son who will be two in May and I struggled really bad with postpartum anxiety and depression after my daughter and I wasn't treated for it they basically just told me it was baby blues and it would go away but it wasn't just baby blues I was literally I can't get over how well this is working <laughs> I was crying every single night then because my doctor was basically like you're fine I started thinking it was all in my head and that there was something wrong with me and like all this stuff it was just a really bad time but 
back then I still worked full time so I took maternity leave which was the worst part of my postpartum anxiety and I went back to work when Aria was nine weeks old. I was able to get like a break and kind of just ignore the symptoms that I had that you know when I was like at home. So with Ezra you guys know I was a stay at home mom then. I was I've been a stay at home mom since Aria was 18 months old. I was very active with this doctor. It was a totally different doctor and I was just very more like look these are the symptoms that I've had I know that it was more than just baby blues um, and they just took my mental health way more seriously especially since I've had signs of anxiety that has gone undiagnosed since I was 15 so um, you know they looked back at my family history which I do have a family history of mental illness and because of everything they just made sure that I was taken care of and you know I was struggling a little bit but I didn't feel like it was as bad and I felt like it was because I was more vocal about my needs with like people at home and everything else um but then the pandemic hit things that I did was like go to the gym and like had girl time and you know just went and got like a massage or I would go like luxury things of self-care you know but with the pandemic all of that was taken away from me and I felt like all of my normal outlets that helped my mental health were gone so um I want to say well we went into the like quarantine in March um, I want to say by June I was talking to a therapist so um, I had finally partnered with a therapist I was doing the telecom therapy um, I was going every two weeks at first then it went to every three weeks then we did every four weeks and then we just recently stopped because I actually went on oh my god that one is so pretty sorry I don't mean to keep stopping on like an important topic like this but yeah so I I had a really bad month and I don't even remember when it was guys I think it was like September last year just kind of like went all together <laughs> it's been over 100 days because I just got a second round so basically I was just having a really bad day or time um, it was a couple weeks coming I was yelling at the kids constantly I just I didn't even want to be touched by them I didn't want them to hug me my body would just kind of like not convulse but just tense up whenever anyone even my husband he would like come to touch me or hug me and I just I didn't want to be touched I didn't want to be around people and it scared me and you know she said it was normal because it was just overstimulating um, but she understands my concerns and so um, she gave me 50 milli is it milligrams I don't even know 50 milligrams of Zoloft so that is what I'm currently taking I take one a day so that those symptoms have kind of eased but I still feel moments where like I'm not in control I just don't have as many like attacks but with everything that has gone on this last week it is it's hard I can feel like like I shake and it, I mean everything just happened what it happened two days ago so yeah this is just the thick of it um I did up it she said if I ever felt like this like you can up it but the problem is with Zoloft you can't it's not like you take it and it instantly works it takes anywhere from like four to twelve weeks for it to actually kick in and it's one of those things that you have to consistently take so it stays in your system um, so if you up the medication you have to up it for a while before you start seeing the effects I'll continue telling you some things that I plan on doing this next year to really help with my anxiety like um, especially with the quarantine still going on but I just wanted to show you I'm finally done with this side of my hair I don't know if you guys can like so I'm going to like leave it you can if you wanted to like hairspray the side while you do this side you totally can but I'm just gonna leave it for now because I actually don't like working with a ton of hairspray um, because if you guys don't know as a brunette um, hairspray has alcohol in it and it actually dulls your shine so I try not to do it as much as possible but I do love <laughs> the thickness and how it came out and how it's not all like frizzy or anything like that so um, but okay so some things I want to do to help my symptoms a little bit more is um, one I'm cutting down coffee so this is literally the only thing I've had for coffee I'm trying to go down to like one coffee a day um, <laughs> because I know caffeine and coffee and all of that can be a trigger um, because it's just a stimulant and um, I was noticing like more panic attacks almost and anxiety attacks um because I'm up to I'm not lying you guys I am up to like a pot and a half or more of coffee a day like I just drink coffee all day long and that's not healthy for anyone especially someone who struggles with anxiety so um I've also gone back to making sure I get up before the kids just to get at least like a 15 minute workout in you don't have to like 
work out a ton uh, just move your body as much as possible and it really does help um so for me i'm just doing 15 minutes for now um and then i am trying to get better at going to sleep at a decent time which i was doing well but during times like this i get obsessed with the news and it's not even like i'm on cnn or fox or anything i just scroll twitter like <laughs> this is why i did not have a twitter account for the longest time i used to and i just get so obsessed and i deep dive into like those rabbit holes and it's not a good place for anybody and again it's not a good place for people with anxiety but yeah that's that's the little update what i'm doing i guess um how i'm doing I'm doing as best as I can I'm you know hyper aware of what's going on um oh the other thing when it comes to my family touching me she said that that may be a trauma response from things that I went through when I was younger and to turn it around and actively be the one to reach out and hug my children and now I don't want anyone to think like I never hug my children or I don't like my children or I don't like being loved or anything like that but as a mom especially as a breastfeeding mom you are constantly being touched and sometimes it just gets overwhelming so I do make it a point to make sure I'm reaching out for the kids because then it's my body that is the one that's engaging um, in the hug versus being hugged um, so my body just responds differently to it and I do know a difference so I have been trying to like actively get down with the kids more and play with them and be the one that initiates um, you know come give mommy a hug and things like that some of the things but I mean if anyone is suffering it's hard and I don't want you guys to take like everything I'm doing or you know as your diagnosis I always say like mental health is not a one-size-fits-all you should always make sure you're partnering with a health professional you know and be very open and active about your treatment and do not ever feel like you're you're scared to say it's not enough you know like i was terrified to admit i needed help with medication um because i thought they were going to judge me or think like that's all i wanted and being medicated was the last thing i wanted to do you, sometimes you need it and you know this is why i'm open about things because i know that that's where, there is that stigma against it and it's a lot um it's hard you guys so i'm just hoping like actively telling my story will help um someone feel more comfortable reaching out for help that's why i'm open i'm such an open book because i wish that these resources and people would have been more open when i was first struggling with it with aria because i think i would have been more confident to ask for a different doctor or get a second opinion because i felt like i was not being heard by my first doctor okay so this is what it looks like i'm gonna just like do 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 <laughs> with it i have not done anything else i've literally just ran the barrel through or my hair over the barrel um i actually kind of like it like this not gonna lie but i'm not gonna keep it like this so i'm gonna use the thermal silk mousse i just put a little bit in my hand like a nickel size dime size quarter size i don't know it always like what was that um so just smooth it around and then i kind of just from the ends will go up like this again it just locks it in and then if you want to put some on top because i always have flyaways on top um i use the l'oreal is it l vive alive oh, i don't know leave alive <laughs> i don't know how to say it. i just do like um two short pumps um again rub it in my hair and then this is where i go underneath and i kind of just like i don't know tease it go back and forth with it and then again i like to focus the oils on my ends because that's where your hair is dry and if you have curly hair and that's damaged it just needs a little bit of love at the ends um i literally like i rub my head when i do this and i like to do it at the bottom because that's where the volume is while keeping these curls like locked and then again i just go back to my ends um, so again this is the first time on my shorter hair that I'm using the 32 I was a little bit nervous that this was gonna be too big of a barrel for my hair um, but I think it works really nice to get that like bigger wave that beach wave instead of just that really curled look so I love it I'm all ready it's like four now um, <laughs> to film um I took a couple of breaks this did not take me an hour um and again I just hold it over my hair for 10 seconds and don't forget to use a heat protectant or I don't know if you guys ever saw that video of that little girl who 
burnt her hair off you don't want to do that so heat protectant um 10 seconds or less if you have thinner hair um but yeah that is it so again i will leave a link to this in the description box along with the discount code so you guys can get 70 percent off um and they also have other things so i have um their smaller straightener i think it's a 20 or um curling wand the 20 three 24 inch or something like that along with their straightener i get the thermal one so it actually has like the infrared technology built into it i love this thing um and then their spin brush for my skincare so i love everything from them so thank you guys again for sending this to me i love it but um yeah if you guys want to see more of these i'm going back to beauty stuff so i'm all about beauty breastfeeding and just helping moms feel more confident navigating motherhood so any that interests you make sure to hit that subscribe button in the middle of course you can check out our last vlog here and as always guys i love you and i'll see you in the next video